I just noticed that. <laughs> Momentum mori, life is short. Seize the day. All right, what is up everybody? In this video, I want to take you on a tour. One of my favorite skate parks in the middle of nowhere. It's outside of Temecula by a little bit. Paula, city of Paula, which is actually a tribal land from the mission. Indians, Native Americans, and so this skate park here is one of my favorite. It's usually empty. Almost every time I've come here, it's empty, except on the weekends maybe. And I want to give you a quick tour with this 360 camera to show you exactly what it looks like. Why I love this park, and maybe you'll enjoy it too. As you can see, it's got a ton of variety here. It's got a big bowl with the cool coping for the old school skate skateboarders if you're interested in this type of thing it's got a big it's got a big bowl in the middle main event for the extension little step up thing here some hips sub box is a little small compared to traditional size sub so that's something you gotta watch out for especially on a bike but in this tour i'm just gonna roll around the park i'll show you exactly what they have here and you can decide for yourself what you'd like to ride, what looks fun to you, and maybe come check it out. So here we go. Any obstacles because you can transfer from one section to the other pretty easily. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video right here because this is what they have for restrooms. That's all they have, no indoor plumbing. It's a port john at least it's something. They also have an outdoor facility, but it's usually locked and there's never anybody with a key to open it. And so I would recommend going across the street to the Pala Casino and Resort, use their restrooms, indoor plumbing, air conditioning, free Wi-Fi, all that stuff. And um, additionally, you can go grab a drink, sit down, enjoy a show, freshen up a little bit. And depending on what time of the season, that you're there you can enjoy some of their pools and hot tubs as they do have plenty to go around i highly recommend it I'm not affiliated or sponsored by the pala casino i just am a frequent customer there and i would recommend it 
The other thing you should consider is that there's no convenience stores hardly anywhere near this park. There's one gas station at the Pala Casino Resort outside in the front. And that's the only place really you can get ice, you can get drinks and refreshments in that town. All right, back to the video. As far as weather, this park, great weather right now. This is mid-September 2023. However, you gotta be aware that in June, July, August, those months, it could be triple digit temperatures out here. So you gotta be really aware of that because it'll impact your riding. There's a couple awnings and areas to get good shade throughout the park, but the changes throughout the day, so what you wanna be aware of is when you come to the park, if you're here like around noon or lunchtime or something, sunlight's gonna be here, but the shade's gonna move to over here in a couple hours. So it's hit or miss trying to find shade. So if it's not a partly cloudy day or something like this, you may have difficulty and want to bring extra water and maybe an umbrella or something. I don't know, depends on your tolerance for, for heat and sunlight. Me, I love the sun, I enjoy it, so I'm okay with it. And uh, let me switch cameras and I can show you more, one of my favorite lines here. Also, if I'm still recording, I want to mention that the hours are weird, so it's something you got to pay attention to because on days like today, they're only open for like two and a half, three hours. So they open at 3 p.m. apparently, midweek, and they close around dusk, which is about 5.36. Technically, last light is like seven o'clock, but they usually kick people out of the park before then. So you're talking about 5.45, maybe six o'clock if you're lucky. So if you're making a good distance away, like I am coming from Orange County, and you come here, be prepared to only ride for a couple hours because they only open at three and then they close again at around six. That's not that great. So there's other parks in the area that you could try to ride, but if you want to ride this one, you got to be prepared to know what the hours are because they don't post anything on social media. They don't update. There's no website or phone number to call to find out when they're open. That's just how it is. I've been trying to help them for years to get everything organized to try to get more people out here, increase their hours, keep them open late in the summer. They just don't care. So at this point, that's probably why you're watching this video because you want to know more about this park because you can't find it anywhere else. So. Hopefully that's helpful and then I'll put this camera on and be able to show you some more lines that uh, I can do that I'm not afraid of breaking a camera like this one. So let me jump cameras. See you in a minute. All right. I recommend playing some metalcore. However, the music taste is totally up to you. Bump. Jump in out of here, jump the other hip over. Jump to this thing, jump out of the suspension. Manual around it. Oops, lost it. Back over here to the mani pad. Go in the bowl. Jump the shark spin. Back out. Hit a good line here. Good hot lap. Coming in hot. Pedal grind. Let's go around this corner. Oh, come on, dude. Drop in the ball main all the way around. Come back around. They don't technically have a box jump here, but they sort of do. I'd like to get some speed through the bowl, generate enough momentum, hit it right there where my sticker is, jump over this, and then hit this thing like a box jump. Additionally, there's one over here. You can get some speed coming around that bowl and jump out of this thing over the wedge. So those are sort of like box jumps, but depending where you hit it or they converge, they could be shorter or longer. The decks are pretty small, so you gotta be careful because like a deck like this size can mess you up because it's so small so 
something to be careful about. I've seen local dudes here like Larry Edgar jump out of this thing and almost hit this awning. So for him it's no problem, but he hits it wide too. He hits it like from there to there. So but I'll show you real quick. I kind of lined up where the sticker is. So if you're ever out here and you see why my sticker is right down here. That's because I placed it so I know as a blind jump, I know where to come up and hit that sticker. Boost over the top to hit the next box. On a bike anyway, on a skateboard, you might the results may vary. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Go over that sticker. Right there. There you go. Just like that. Woo. Will he get the manual though? Nope. <laughs> it's always the easy ones. Oh well, you get the idea. Pretty fun. This is another one of my favorite obstacles here. I've gotten wrecked on this thing so many times. But where else can you find something like this? Look at that. It's like a McDonald's rail. Definitely fun on a skateboard or inline skates. On a bike, it's a little different, but this thing is so unique. I love it. If you're watching this video, comment what trick you would do on this McDonald's rail right here. And if you pull it, you get a free uh, fries and a drink upsize. <laughs> wonder who came up with that i'll show you this one another one of my favorite jumps you have to generate some speed from that bowl to jump over this launch out of this maybe seven eight foot quarter over the spine into this four and a half five foot saw quarter so you can see what that looks like it emulates a spine ramp it's close but concrete spines are way different than wood double coping spines in my opinion so that's what you're looking at right there jumping in jumping out you get a better angle from the side right over there you can see over here it's like maybe i don't know eight foot something right about there looks to be whatever that is eight feet perhaps jumping that straight over onto the other side i use it like a spine ram for me it's fun so i'll show you that real quick then i drop in on the step down and just ride down this to get the right amount of speed you don't want to overshoot it but you definitely want to come in there with some good speed in order to jump the whole thing but you don't want to land flat bottom on the other side see that's about perfect speed for that one to come in smooth and land you just got to play around with it but that's why we're here to play love the variety at this park so much stuff to ride especially if you're here by yourself which you're probably going to be this park doesn't get much attention try to eye this thing up there you go. Yeah, there you go. Nicely done. Stealth. Good job. What else you got? D, okay. Simple stuff. Alright, what else can I show you? See, this wave feature is awesome, I love it. However, if you don't have wax or if you come here after it rains, it's gonna be sticky. Looks okay for now, but I've got metal pegs, so it should be okay, but something you gotta watch out for. If you wanna haul ass coming into this thing and you get stuck right here and then flip over, not good. But this thing's fun, I love it. Never seen a feature like that in another skate park around here anyway. Give it a shot. Go slow, just to see how the coping is. Okay, it's not bad. Do something with it. Let's see what happens here. Nope. All right, we'll try it again. Okay, we got a sip of drink right here. Get ourselves hydrated. Check on how our other businesses are doing with that phone. As a side note, I ride with a different phone in my person's in my pocket because that way I just listen to music on it as a music player if I break it. I've, I've been riding a good number of years and I've broken a good number of phones in my pocket that way. So if you can get a cheap phone, load it up with your favorite music. You don't care if you break it or not. Keep your other phone somewhere safe 
but all your business and personal information is on it. So, pro tip, <laughs> we're gonna get this wave rail. I'm three quarters of the way through it. I need to just go lock on at the right point so I have enough speed to carry me over the top and that should do it. If you like this video, you're enjoying it, I'm not gonna pander, but if you wanna hit the like and subscribe button, they do take a good amount of effort to make and share. So if you enjoy this video, go ahead, hit the subscribe, hit the like, leave a comment. Let me know you're out there, I'll make more. I love riding skate parks and I love sharing it with people. There we go, that feels like it. Oh, almost. Damn. So that one's about the same as last time. I'm gonna just try to go hit it up a little bit higher then because I either need to go faster or hit it a little later into the curve. That should give me the momentum to come back around the whole thing. I'm gonna shut up and just try to focus on the rail now. There we go. Yeah, what's up? Who do you think you are? I am. <laughs> that felt great. Oh, what a fun hit. Crazy. Such a great obstacle. Look at that thing. So fun. Come try it on a skateboard. I would love to see you 5-0 grind that thing just right on top. Or even tail slide that whole corner. That would look so sick. If you're on inline skates, let me see an X grind. Unity grind, X grind, whatever that's called. That looks dope. That was fun. To give a comprehensive review, I want to let you know that there is as tiny as this city is with only a few thousand people in population. There is a good amount of traffic on this main road here. I want to say this one is Paula Mission Road. And the next one is oh, it's the the Freeway. I can't remember, but at a certain point in the day, you can see there's a lot of traffic on this main road right here that leads up to the skate park. So if you're coming late afternoon like these people here, there's a good way to get to this park to avoid all this traffic by using the other road further down. Perhaps I don't know the reasoning, but there's a little keyhole in this pool right over there. You can see it. I've always wanted to ice pick it, stuff my peg in there, stall it out, come back in. I've never done it, but I'm always wondering why is that thing there? And if you're a skateboarder, you come and ride this bull, something to watch out for but i'm wondering what's the purpose of it anyways and why it was made like that but i definitely want to stall it so i'll take you over there for a quick look So as I said before, I want to come up there and just like doot, stick my peg in that hole as doing a trick, like stall it out, boom, come back in. I'm almost not sure where to place the camera in this matter because if I want to emphasize that I'm not on the coping, I really have to mount my camera in a unique angle or position in order to see that. So I'm really thinking that the bottom of the bowl is the best place to strategically place the camera in a way that you can see that I'm coming up to do that hit in that little keyway but I don't think anybody's done it I've never seen a video of it so it makes me want to do it even more but I guess the main thing I'm worried about is the front tire clipping the top of the pool coping on the way in and not being able to come down in smoothly and get hung up or something so I'm gonna give it another look I am down in the bowl. This thing is huge. I might go super wide view just to get a good shot. 
Turns out there's actually bees, there's a beehive or hornet's nest in that little hole there. So two things could happen. I could pull it perfectly and be legend, or I could crash, die an absurd, horrific death with hornets attacking me as I crash down. <laughs> Let's see what happens though, right? There's bees in there. The beehive. Or hornets, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. That's a good way to end this video, I think. Conquer your fears. Take deep breaths. Focus on your goals. And I will see you in the next video.